Welcome back to the TV Man. The video is a part of a series of my speculative evolution project, for Igna, the world of genetically modified pterotherpetans and highly derived descendants of cephalopods. I have links below where you can follow and support my work on Tumblr. When we left off, we saw the early life of Freyigna. Now we'll skip ahead to the present day of Freyigna. We'll explore one of the more aggressive and robust groups of foragans, the Grumbles. Grumbles are a group of mainly carnivorous foragans that have adapted to fill the niches of bears. Their beaks are full of serrated teeth to crush and break the skulls and necks of large herbivores. Other grumbles use their teeth to grind up leaves. They have a specialized finger used for multiple purposes. Either for stabbing fish like cephalopods, stabbing or scratching large herbivores, or digging large mounds of antels to eat the delicious critters. The grumble gorger is one of the more iconic species of the grumbles, representing the entire group. The grumble gorger has no specialized finger. Scientists theorized that the narrow finger would drag the giant beast when it's running, so, for a couple of million years, the finger has slowly degraded into a standard finger. In mating season, females will produce smelly urine to attract males. Males will smell the urine and try to find the female. At first, the female will try to run away from the male, but over time, the female will slowly go to the male to mate. After that, Males will make a large burrow or try to find a large cave to take care of the soon-to-be offspring. The younglings will cling to the underbelly of their caretaker when they're traveling or feeling threatened. Younglings will stay with their parents for about three to four years. The ever-eating mookbanger is a large grumble that lives in dense forests. It uses its long specialized finger to snap the branches to grab the delicious leaves. Its beak is riddled with blunt teeth to grind up leaves. It swallows rocks to grind up the leftover leaves. It fills the niches of large herbivores and giant herbivorous sloths. The rumble hoarder is a large grumble that lives in the tundras of Verora and the polar ice caps of Forentica. It uses its long specialized finger to snatch ovalopini. It may also use its long specialized finger to scratch and stab large herbivores. It fills the niches of polar bears. Before the long nights, rumble hoarders will store food to hibernate, hence the name hoarder. When sleeping, they'll create a giant rumbling snore, which many explorers and tourists call the long nights, the rumbling nights.